AEM 219032DS Air Intake System was engineered to add horsepower and reduce restriction compared to OEM air intakes, and it comes with a lifetime limited warranty. This AEM air intake utilizes a large reusable dry flow air filter that is oil free, durable, and very easy to clean. The air filter can be used for up to 100,000 miles before cleaning is needed, depending on driving conditions. AEM Air Intake 21-9032DS fits 2011 through 2012 Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra 2500 and 3500 HD models with 6.6 .6 liter diesel engines. See the AEM catalog or aemintakes.com for up-to-date model details. This air intake system is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check aemintakes.com for up-to-date information on emissions legality for specific parts on specific vehicles. AEM power testing showed an estimated 14 horsepower gain at 2100 RPM with this air intake installed on a 2012 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD with a 6.6 .6 liter diesel engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather and other variables. Here's a comparison of the Silverado sound on the dyno with a stock OEM system versus AEM's air intake. AEM air intakes come with detailed instructions with pictures and diagrams. AEM intakes are engineered for specific vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Preparing the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle is parked on a level surface. Set the parking brake. If the engine has run in the past two hours, let it cool down. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Do not discard stock components after removal of the factory system. Removal of the stock system. Pull back the gray locking tab on the female MAF sensor connector to unlock it. Press the snap tab on the connector and pull it to disconnect the harness from the MAF sensor. Loosen the two hose clamps retaining the stock intake tube. Remove the stock intake tube from the air box and the engine air inlet. Pull up on the stock filter air box starting on the side closer to the engine to pop it free from its mounting grommets. Remove the airbox assembly from the engine bay. Using a 10 mm socket, remove the four bolts retaining the stock airbox mounting plate. Remove the mounting plate. Using a T20 Torx bit, remove the two screws retaining the MAF sensor to the upper airbox lid. Remove the sensor for use with your new AEM cold air intake. Make sure the O-ring is intact on the sensor. Installation of the AEM intake system. When installing the intake system, do not completely tighten the hose clamps or mounting hardware until instructed to do so. Install the MAF sensor onto the MAF pad on the lower intake tube. Secure it with the two 4mm Allen bolts provided. Tighten the bolts. Install the silicone hose onto the outlet end of the intake elbow on the A side of the AEM logo. Install the larger silicone hose onto the inlet side of the intake elbow, the end closest to the M in the AEM logo. Secure both couplers with hose clamps. Loosely install another hose clamp over the outlet hose and install the intake elbow assembly onto the engine intake port. Do not fully tighten the hose clamp yet. Install the bulb seal around the inside edge of the outlet hole of the airbox. Trim any excess bulb seal as needed. Install the foot grommet on the outside of the airbox in the larger left front mounting hole. Place the airbox into the engine bay where the stock airbox was located. Make sure the new left front mounting grommet is aligned with the threaded hole in the engine bay. While pulling the airbox toward the stock coolant reservoir to align the airbox, install two of the M6 long bolts with two flat washers at the two mounting holes. Make sure the airbox inlet window is aligned with the stock air inlet window in the sheet metal fender liner. Tighten the two bolts. Install the third M6 bolt with a flat washer in the remaining mounting hole near the inlet window and tighten. 
Note that the large air inlet window is aligned with the smaller stock air inlet window in the vehicle fender. Port installation for AEM filter minder gauge. Drill a 1 quarter inch diameter hole in the plastic cap of the dry flow air filter at the dimpled location. Clean out all plastic shavings from the inside of the filter. Install a small grommet into the drilled hole and then install the 532nd inch plastic elbow port into the grommet. Install the 532nd inch rubber air hose onto the elbow port. This hose will be attached to the AEM filter minder gauge at a later step. Install the filter insert into the outlet of the dry flow air filter. Install the large hose clamp provided over the air filter outlet. Insert the dry flow air filter assembly into the air box. Loosely install the lower intake tube through the bulb sealed outlet hole in the air box and into the dry flow air filter base adapter. The intake tube should pass under the stock MAF harness and small coolant return hose. Connect the MAF harness to the MAF sensor and push the locking tab into the connector. Fully seat the dry flow air filter onto the lower intake tube inlet and align it inside the air box. Tighten the large hose clamp at the filter base. Install the fourth hose clamp on the open silicone hose already mounted on the intake elbow. Insert the outlet end of the lower intake tube into the silicone hose. Loosely secure the hose clamp so the intake tube can rotate inside the hose. Install the rubber mount into the M6 brass insert on the side of the airbox. Tighten by hand. Loosely install the L bracket, one flat washer, and one M6 serrated nut onto the rubber mount. Install one flat washer, one split washer, and one M6 hex bolt through the L bracket slot and into the mounting boss in the lower intake tube. Tighten the bolt and the hex nut with a 10 millimeter socket. Rotate the lower intake tube and filter assembly until the edge of the filter cap lines up with the top edge of the air box opening near the fender. Tighten the hose clamp at the silicone hose, connecting the lower intake tube to the intake elbow. Fully seat the silicone hose at the engine intake port and tighten the hose clamp. The intake tube and filter installation is now complete. You are now ready to seal the airbox. Install the grommet onto the 0.75 inch hole in the corner of the airbox lid. Install the filter minder gauge into the large grommet. Use glass cleaner to lubricate the hole in the grommet if needed. Guide the loose end of the 532nd inch air hose already attached to the filter cap onto the small port of the filter minder gauge through the airbox lid. Install the airbox lid onto the airbox using the M6 hex flange bolts provided. Start all four bolts by hand first, and then tighten them with a 10 millimeter socket to seal the airbox. Make sure the AEM filter minder gauge needle is pointing to the green sector. Once your dry flow filter is dirty and the pressure drop restriction across it reaches 20 inches of H2O, the gauge needle will point to the red sector. This will mean it is time to wash your reusable AEM dry flow air filter. Reassembling the vehicle. Position the inlet pipes for the best fitment. Be sure the pipes or any other components do not contact any part of the vehicle. Tighten any rubber mounts if applicable, all bolts and hose clamps. Check for proper hood clearance. Readjust pipes if necessary and retighten them. Inspect the engine bay for any loose tools and check that all fasteners that were moved or removed are properly tightened. Reconnect the negative battery terminal and start the engine. Let the vehicle idle for three minutes. Perform a final inspection before driving the vehicle. It will be necessary to check AEM air intakes periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. Go to aemintakes.com to find products, download installation instructions, view dyno charts showing estimated horsepower gains, and for other product details.